Gupta and you are watching Biology Classes. So welcome to all of you in this lecture of Biology. As you know that currently I am making all my videos related to plant morphology. A branch of botany that deals with the study of external plants of the plants such as root, stem, leaf etc. In this series I am telling you about the different parts of the plant. I started the first topic with root and now the, in this lecture I will tell you about the modification of roots. In my last lecture I told you what the modification is. So generally you can see the plant consists of this type of root but sometimes these roots get modified and perform some special types of functions and this type of root is known as the modified root. In my last video I told you the first category of modification that is the root modification for food storage. So in this in that video I told you about different kinds of roots such as radish, carrot, their forms like fusiform, napiform, conical etc. But in this lecture I will tell you about the root modification for extra mechanical support. So let's start the video. First of all what is the meaning of extra mechanical support? Suppose a plant is growing in a proper way and it needs an extra support. So sometimes some special types of roots get modified to provide the extra support to this plant. And this is called the root modification for extra mechanical support. So as you can see, uh, I told you about three types of roots which helps in the extra mechanical support. The first one is the prop root. Prop root is generally present in the ficus tree or the bunion tree. It grows, it arises from the horizontal branches of the tree and enters into the soil and thus it appears like a pillar-like appearance and provide an extra support to the main plant. So this type of root is known as the prop roots. As you can see here, these are, this is the diagram of a bunion tree and these are roots are known as the prop roots. So these are large and pillar-like roots. As you can see in this diagram, these are the large and pillar-like roots produced from the main horizontal branches. These are the main branches, main horizontal branches of the plant. So the prop roots arise from the main horizontal branches of the tree. They grow vertically. They grow vertically in a straight line and downwards and enters into the soil. So the roots which develops from the branches of the tree, from the horizontal branches of the tree and develops vertically downward and enters into the soil. Thus they provide an extra mechanical support and they provide mechanical support to the main stem and the branches and these roots are termed as the prop roots. And the example is bunion tree as the scientific name of the bunion tree is ficus bengalensis. So it is a botanical name of bunion tree and you can see the prop roots in the bunion tree. Now the next is stilt root. Stilt roots are generally present in sugarcane and the maize plant. So both the plants are slender and straight in the soil and they are very weak and the roots are not too much developed because they consist of fibrous roots to, so these roots does not enter so deep in the soil. So these, root, these plants require extra support. As you can see in this diagram, these are the nodes of the stem. This is the main stem of sugarcane and these are the nodes. So from the nodes, some special types of roots arises, from the basal nodes actually, some special types of roots arises which develops and goes downwards and enters into the soil. Thus they provide extra support to the main stem and these roots can be seen in the maize plant and in the sugarcane plant. So these roots arises from the basal node of the stem. As you can see here, this is the stem and these are the nodes. So these are the basal nodes actually. The plant is very large, so these are the basal nodes. So these roots arise from the basal nodes of the stem close to the soil. This is the soil and these nodes are very close to the soil. So they grow downward into the soil. These roots grow downward into the soil and provide extra support to the main plant. And when these roots enter into the soil, it will create an extra support for the main stem and this type of root is known as the stilt root. And the example, uh, examples are sugarcane and the botanical name is Saccharum officinarum. And the next one is maize, the botanical name is Gia maize. So it was the stilt root. Now the next one is the climbing root. Climbing root. Uh, before doing the climbing root, it is important to know uh, what are the climbing plants. Climbing plants are those plants which climb somewhere for their development. So as you can see in this diagram, this is the support. 
I made a wooden piece uh, that is the support that acts like a support and this is the plant which is green colored and it is climbing over the wooden piece so this type of plant is known as the climbing plants and for the climbing they required some extra support and this support is provided by the climbing roots which arises from the nodes of the stem so this is the main stem this is the aerial part of the plant and these are the nodes from where a leaf arises as I described what is the node so the place of the stem from where leaves arises is known as the node so in this plant these are the nodes from where leaf arises and this node also give rise some special roots which are known as the climbing roots which attach themselves to any support like the wooden piece and helps the plant in climbing so these roots are known as the climbing roots uh, they may be present in the money plant in the black pepper that is uh, piper diagram in the beetle etc etc so these roots arises from the node of the stem as you can see in the diagram these yellow colored roots are the climbing roots and these are arises from the nodes of the stem these roots attach themselves and to the support these roots attach themselves to any support that may be a stone piece or any kind of things like a wooden piece so themselves and uh, to the support and helps to climb in the plant and these roots help in the climbing of the plant and this type of roots are known as the climbing roots and the example of this roots is black pepper uh, the botanical name is Piper nigrum. Another one is Beetle. The botanical name is Piper Beetle. So it was all about the root modification for extra mechanical support. I told you about three types of roots: prop roots, stem roots, and climbing roots. And I think all the things are very clear to you. Still, if you want to ask any type of question related to this topic, you may ask in the comment section. In my next video, I will tell you about the third category that is the root modification for vital activities. So in this lecture, it was all about the root modification for extra mechanical support. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.